It's all about color and brush strokes. Here in the Nace Gallery in the Paint Spot, we have a beautiful exhibition of acrylic paintings from artist Nicole Gellis. The show is entitled Suspended Spaces and it's up from now until October 3rd. So you'll wanna come down and see it. We're excited for this show. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your art. Yeah, well, thanks, Kim. And first, let me just say thank you very much to Kim and everybody at the Paint Spot for um, having my work here for this exhibition. I'm really excited about it. And uh, I'm a teacher, I'm a full-time teacher, I'm a mom, so I don't get a lot of time in the studio. But this summer, it's been really nice to have this little burst of creative energy and be back in the studio. And having that exhibition really helps to, to um, get back in there. My name's Nicole, and I have born and raised in Edmonton, and I studied art at the U of A, and then I moved to Halifax and went to the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. And since coming back to Edmonton, I've been teaching art in various locations and went on to do an education degree, so now I'm teaching in the school system as well. And I um, studied mostly painting and drawing, a little bit of animation and ceramics and filmmaking as well. Wow, do your students know your art? I don't show it right off the bat, but eventually when I talk about my work, they'll ask some questions and I, I have a PowerPoint put together to show them. <laughs> <laughs> so your show is joyful for us. Like we come in and we see these beautiful paintings and the color and stuff. Mm. How do you approach choosing color? Well, I love bright colors, as you can probably tell. And um, I, you know, I've had a couple of like inspirations over the years. So I spent a bit of time working in um, Taipei in Taiwan. Mm. And so I had about a month where I was doing an artist residency there. And while I was working in this building downtown, right next door, there were um, a group of sign painters. So they were actually hired by businesses to paint signs. And I loved going next door and just watching them paint. And they used a lot of really bright fluorescent colors, colors that really popped and trying to get people's attention. Um, also, while I was traveling, I mean, looking at the Buddhist art, I just fell in love with it. And um, those really bright colors and swirling shapes. So those were things that inspired me. Um, I tend to work in a way that I'm always looking for contrast. So if I have warm colors, my next layer will be cool and um, or opaque and then transparent. The colors for me are um, something that I just kind of pick intuitively. Like I don't really set out with a specific plan in mind. Oh, gutsy, just walk up to the wall and that's the color. <laughs> and that impresses me so much. So um, your brush hooks and watching sign painters in the, the Eastern traditions where it's mm -hmm. all about the fluid stroke. That is so clear that that's what you do. Uh, mm -hmm. in your work. Tell me about your brushes making these big long you know five foot brush strokes. Yeah well one thing that I learned from those sign painters they would take their brushes and they would dip them into lots of paint and they would make a brush stroke sort of for as long as possible. Um, so I like having brush strokes with really long bristles and I like having a variety some that are kind of coarse um, if I'm trying to get more of um, like texture in the brush stroke. Others, I really like filberts. So having something that's kind of smooth and gets a really nice even line. And while I was watching them paint, I also, um, they would talk to me a little bit about their, their process and they created a rhythm of creating a brush stroke that aligned with their breathing. And they said that they would uh, make their brush stroke during an exhale. So that's when they had the even steady hand. So definitely my top layers, that's something I'm thinking about too, is kind of having um, a bit of like a, kind of a dance between when I'm breathing and when I'm actually painting. Oh, I can see that would add a nice organic start and stop and be mm. almost like you're, you're speaking the paint. That mm -hmm. is really interesting. Really oh, thanks. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you about how I um, find shapes and colors that I like to use in my paintings. I often will start just with um, doodling. So I might start in my sketchbook and make a little drawing and there might be a specific motif that I create and then I recreate that in the next painting. So I tend to work on lots of paintings at the same time and I also like having them flat most of the time. At the very end I will kind of lift them up but I tend to kind of hover over the painting while I'm working on them. So your work kind of like floats in this lovely atmosphere. Are you turning the piece as you're working on it or do you kind of have a set? Like this mm. is 
this is the composition I'm going to always look at it from this human standpoint. I, I don't know. <laughs> I try to approach each painting without too much of an expectation of what it will look like in the end. Mm -hmm. And so um, I try to just stay open-minded and as I'm working on it, I might rotate the painting, I might flip it upside down. Um, I, I try to kind of look at what's there and then just respond to that rather than starting with a specific idea in mind of how I'd like it to look in the end. How do you know when a painting is finished? <laughs> Well, my problem is I like to make them too busy, so <laughs> I try to give myself little breaks and uh, step away from the painting. So if it gets to the point where it feels like there's a bit of like a buzz that's happening between the different layers, then I step away and um, I, I have to make a conscious decision to kind of walk away at one point and not just continue adding more and more layers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're working this sketchbook, have you ever kind of thought a painting was done? Then you make a mark in a sketchbook, you're like, aha, that's <laughs> what it needs. Is it kind of that? It is, yeah. I would say too that because I only get into the studio in short little bursts, mm -hmm. that sometimes it will take me five years to finish a painting. And so, I mean, the blue one here, for example, it's been in my studio for quite a while in the background, and I just didn't quite know how to resolve it. So then over the summer, I pulled it out and then I was able to finish it. So um, they often will change and um, grow and, you know, kind of forget one idea and then move into it with another idea later on. Oh, it's definitely a conversation. <laughs> These big pieces take a bit of energy. Do you have a, a large studio space or is it a surprise to see it in a gallery where you're like, whoa, that's what it looks like. Big, lit. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice to see them out of my studio. So my studio, I have a little single size garage, but a lot of that's taken up with bikes and strollers and sports equipment. So being able to get out of the studio and see them on the walls and step away from them is a real treat. Mm. I have a couple of uh, public art commissions. So one is a Borden Park. They have um, a beautiful round building and they have an interior wall where I painted, I think it's 32 um, feet, a, a 32 foot mural that kind of wraps around the inside. And uh, I call them the nicest bathrooms in Edmonton <laughs> because it was so uh, such an honor to paint in such a beautiful building. And uh, I also have paintings up, four large scale paintings up at the Lois Hole Hospital. Hey, would you ever teach a workshop for us? I would love to teach a workshop, Kim. Um, so thanks again to Kim and everyone at the Paint Spot for uh, having this exhibition here. I just wanted to say that it's especially cool to me that I get to show my work in an art supply store. So for me, I love looking at art. I love being inspired by other artists. And uh, I hope that um, when people come into the Paint Spot, they get to see the art that's displayed throughout the year and then get inspired to buy some supplies. That's a nice infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really appreciated having you here and we look forward to seeing people's reaction throughout the, the month that you're on display. Thanks. Thanks so much, Kim. Thank you. Oh, please come down and see these works for yourself. It's amazing to be able to step right into a painting and really feel the mood of all the colors. You need to see the brush strokes up close. You need to see all the transparency and the layers to truly appreciate them. So the exhibition Suspended Spaces by Nicole Gellis is up until October 3rd here at the Paint Spots NACE Gallery. Hope to see you soon.